This segment of the Z Files is here at the council chambers for the Crestview City Council. No council meeting going on right now. With me is J.B. Witten, President, Chairman of the uh, City Council Board. And uh, this time we decided to turn the podium facing out. You know, that's neat. Now, we know this is a rather historic uh, podium here. This wood came out of the old sewing factory. Yeah, and some right. of the students at one of the schools built this one and they built one that's up at Warriors Hall out of some of that wood that was there from that 1937 38 building. Now, you've got something going on we want to tell people about and encourage them to participate in. Uh, and you've, but you've been done some organizing and getting it going. So tell us what this government week is next week and what all you kind of put together for people to have a chance to right up close, shake hands with the guy that spent some of your money if you yeah, want there to. You go. Yeah, uh, City Government Week next week is from the 23rd to the 27th of October. And on Monday, we begin, we typically have our council workshop, the last Monday of the month anyway. We'll have the council workshop here in the city council chambers, 5.30 until 7 o'clock or 8 o'clock, depends on what kind of conversations we have. But at 8 o'clock, we're going to transition to an open house. And then Thursday night, uh, I'll be here for about an hour with the Crestview Historic Preservation Board, but then you've got something for... If you're not interested in history, you're not going to show up here anyway for that. But uh, you got you do town hall meetings from time to time I do. since you've been in office. So you've got one arranged down on the south end of town, and really you've got a top a series of topics they can come talk about. I do on the 26th, which is Thursday, uh, starting at 6 p.m. I'll be at uh, Samuel's Roadhouse. We call it the Kiwanis Room, the first room on the left. Mm -hmm. And uh, like you say, I, I, in the past I've been theming these to try to attract people, but we have so many issues going on right now, I kind of put a whole bunch of themes. Any, anything you want to talk about, city charter review, medical marijuana, traffic jams, uh, RVs, traffic congestion, permits, Chick-fil-A. <laughs> <laughs> we know everybody wants to talk about that. So. Uh, just come and talk to me about anything. And one of the things I do, Cal, whenever I have these town hall meetings, uh, I usually cut them down about 8 o'clock, 6 to 8. But if somebody wants to talk to me privately after that, they stay behind, and I've got time to spend with them. So, You're going to uh, do something no, different on Friday the 27th. You're going to serve food at the Hub City Barbecue. Tell us about that. We, we Mike are. Carroll is really getting brave here. He sure is. And then we're not going to – it's not to raise money. It's not to get tips. It's to symbolize that that is what we're supposed to be doing as public servants, serving our people. So we're going to go there and serve meals uh, from 5.30 until 7 p.m. or until we drop, whatever the case may be. Or until they run you off. <laughs> yeah. No, maybe not. Okay. Well, anyway, it's all part of the city government week now. This is something that your state, Florida League of Cities, helps promote the idea. Absolutely. They, they encourage that we celebrate uh, city government week the last week in October. And... Uh, uh, I, I don't recall us doing that recently, so I just kind of brought as a proposal, can we do this? And, and uh, all my fellow councilmen and the mayor and the city clerk enthusiastically supported me. So, okay. uh, And I really, I really want to get people there because, number one, it'll help us interact with the people. And number two, it'll encourage us to do bigger and better things next year. We can grow from this. Mm -hmm. The first time we're doing it, so.